Well, after steel, the backbone of Pittsburgh's economy became one of Ed's and Med's, our education and medical institutions. But the Trump administration is cutting more than $100 million in federal research funding to the University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon University. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan looks at the impacts to the research and jobs and the fight to restore that funding. On trying to cure or treat Alzheimer's, uh, multiple sclerosis, and restore function to people who are paralyzed. It's the vital lifeline to research into the cause and treatment of cancer, dementia, and heart disease, as well as potentially life-saving innovations in neuroengineering, like those pioneered by Pitt Associate Professor T.K. Kozai. Together, Pitt and CMU stand to lose close to $200 million in funding from the National Institutes of Health. But the Trump administration has cut much of that funding, putting all future research in doubt. We're trying to make ends meet uh, by being a little creative, but that's only going to allow us to survive just a couple months. And then we'll be done. And then we'll be done. Pitt receives nearly $700 million in NIH grants, the sixth highest recipient in the nation. But last week, the Trump administration suddenly cut reimbursements to universities for so-called indirect costs. Things like lab space and the expensive and sophisticated equipment like this photon microscope Kozai needs for his research. We can't do the experiments without the electricity. We can't do the experiments without the internet. We can't do the experiments without the data security. The administration contends the overhead costs of research institutions are too high and they can do more with less and save the taxpayer $4 billion a year. But in the statement, Pitt says this will impede and kill much of the research and have a major impact on our Eds and Meds economy. Quote, federal funding and research has been vital in not only maintaining global competitiveness, but also in advancing treatment for some of society's most devastating diseases. Research also has a major impact on the economy in western Pennsylvania, creating jobs and attracting partner companies to the area. Carnegie Mellon, which receives far less in NIH funding than Pitt, joined other universities in filing for an injunction. And a federal judge has granted a temporary restraining order freezing the cuts. It remains to be seen, however, if the Trump administration will comply with that order and restore the funding until the issue is decided in the courts. It will now be up to a judge to decide whether these cuts are legal and whether they should be restored. But it sets up a future confrontation between the Trump administration and the courts. Reporting in Hazelwood, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.